All right, boys, so by popular demand, we have this new series I'm doing called Cooking with Super Skiller. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make an optimized hot dog while losing the least amount of ticks possible. Uh, we're gonna optimize for taste and efficiency, so you could probably say this is gonna be a max efficiency hot dog cooking guide. Uh, so to start with, I have the heat turned on here to pretty high. Uh, you're gonna want to do that and then we're gonna grab the pan here and fill it with hot water we're just gonna make a small layer here so that the hot dogs uh, have some water to simmer in and then we're gonna put that on the stove top and we're gonna let it heat up for a little bit there now while you're waiting for that you want to remove uh, two buns. This is the optimal number of hot dogs to cook at one time. So you're gonna want to take two buns out and uh, Put them on a plate Kind of spread them open a little bit there. You're also gonna want to have your mustard handy uh, not ketchup because That's not really a good condiment for hot dogs uh, and Then you're gonna want to have a, your wieners here on either a cutting board or a plate or something like that um, You're also gonna want to have your butter and knife handy there. So now you're gonna want to remove two wieners like I said that's the optimal number to cook at one time then you can place this back in the refrigerator all right now when you have your wieners here uh, this is going to be a little tricky because I only have one hand to work with but you want to slice little slits in your wieners here for these longer uh, size wieners you're gonna to wanna to do probably around eight slits, but the smaller ones are good with five. Now, when you hear your water boiling over here, you're gonna to wanna to turn the heat down just a little bit there. It's around medium, medium high. All right, now let's, let's get these slits cut in these wieners. So I might have to drop the camera for a second here. Do one, one slit, two slits, Three, four, five, six, and then a seven. Do about eight slits there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but we now have our little slits cut in our wieners. That's for optimal airflow in order to not get any air bubbles. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our butter knife. We're gonna pick up the hot dog wiener by the, by the little slit there, put it in, take the other one, do the same. All right. Now we're gonna have these sitting in water for a little bit. Let them kind of get their juices out. And what this does is it makes your meal a bit more healthy because you don't want all these, all this hot dog grease uh, to stay on the dog. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let these sit for a little bit and then we're gonna empty out this water into the sink. So we'll do this for a good, about a minute or so. And uh, while you're doing this, this is a perfect time if you have a remote desktop enabled on your phone, uh, you can hop over to your, to your RuneScape client and you can, you know, drop an inventory of fish or you know, use more absorption pots for, for your nightmare zone session in order to be maximum efficient. Uh, but since I'm recording on my phone right now, I can't really do that. Okay, you can, as you can see here, we have this uh, little film of grease kind of forming. So what this means is we're going to get ready to dump out the water. All right, so put my knife down over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come over here to the sink and kinda 
let drain that just a little bit like that. I want to leave just, just a tad in there. Now we can see the hot dogs are kind of touching the pan a bit more there, so this will get them cooking a little faster now that the grease has drained out. Now you can either just, if you want a healthy meal, you can just leave them like this, or what I like to do, if I'm a uh, you know, feeling like doing some fine dining, you come over here, you grab a little bit of butter, kind of a little bit there, and then you just plop it right in. And what this does, is this will make you, this will give the hot dogs a bit more flavor. So come over here and we just kind of move it around in the pan. It'll kind of mix with the water there. And it'll get form a nice layer on this pan of, of butter to help you get that flavor in there. Now if you want, depending on how quickly you want to do this, you can turn up the heat just a little bit, get them cooking a little faster. Let's see our butter is starting to bubble up there, make that nice film on the pan. Just kind of keep moving the wieners around in there. So they soak up that, that nice flavor. Again, if you want to do the healthy meal, you don't do this. Um, but this will kind of give you that nice hot dog flavor. Okay, just let them sit on one side there for a little bit. Now, if you have two hands available, you can Kind of go like that, mix them around. As you can see, I don't know if it's visible here, but you can start seeing a little bit of a little bit of browning happening. As you can see, also those slits are kind of providing some nice airflow so that the the wieners don't burst out of their skin too much. So yeah, you just want to keep rolling them around every which way. They're starting to brown up real nice there. It could even turn up the heat just a little bit more. I'd say in total you want these to be cooking maybe five minutes or so, maybe closer to seven if you have your heat a bit lower. It also depends on how big the dog is and how many you're cooking at once. That's why I like to do two at once. I feel like it's more optimal for the amount of food that you you cook at, at once, but it doesn't make it too slow either. Okay. That nice layer of butter still. Now you can see them charring up a little bit here. We see those those little black spots. That's what you want. You want that's how you're gonna be able to tell if they're done or not. Because when they don't have that black, those black spots, it means that they're gonna be kind of kind of have a pudding-like consistency or be sort of rubbery. But when they start charring up like that, you know they're they're gonna be good. about maybe 30 more seconds here. And also while you're doing this is a perfect time to uh, prepare any uh, drinks that you may have. Now with this meal, I'm just gonna be doing water so I don't really need to do that, but while you're waiting for these to cook, it would probably be more efficient for you to pour out your drinks or something like that. Okay, so these are looking about done, so I'm going to do one more kind of shake there, and then I'm going to turn off the heat. That residual heat will kind of still cook them while the pan is cooling down. Yeah, they got that nice, that nice black charring going on there. All right.
so we'll just, oh, another thing is that uh, if you have a cutting board that you use, you can wash that while we're waiting for these to finish cooking. All right, these are about ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my plate over here, kinda spread open the, the buns there, get them ready to place, and then just pick them up by the slit right here, like that. Just place them right into the into the bun. And if you did it right, they should slide right out. Got some over here. Second hot dog day. Just place that right into the bun there, like so. All right. Now you just let the pan cool off a little bit. And then you grab your condiment preference. I have mustard here. Shake it up a little bit. All right. Like so. And then you just kind of drizzle a little bit on there. Get that perfect hot dog look. And there you go. And that is how you make Hot dogs with optimal taste while losing the least amount of ticks. In other words, that is your maximum efficiency hot dog cooking guide. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.